Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. And I'm Kevin. And we are back with a cool product review, Deep Cut Studios mats. So when we play Battletech, you guys know we play in a 3D type environment and we use these really high quality battle mats as the basis for our terrain. So tonight uh, we're going to dive into Deep Cut Studios and some of the great mats that these guys have hooked us up with, uh, as well as some additional swag. Uh, that we can show you as well. So, stay tuned, that's coming right up. I didn't get to say a word. All right, we're back. <laughs> and here are their beautiful mats. Hmm. So, starting with, I guess, this top one here, right? This is our asteroid mat. This is our lifeless, barren, rocky uh, moon, desolate asteroid. Just, yeah. just a great environment for uh, interstellar combat. Yeah, it looks great. I mean, I love the shadows on the craters. It makes them almost look like there's depth on the map. And of course, when we throw some hills and stuff on the underside. Right, so we, we add our own true elevation, but these also add sort of that depth element where we can, can put like, buildings and other things in the craters as if they're being sheltered, you know, in this terrain. They look really cool. So definitely one of our favorite mats. I think this one's going to be making a regular appearance. Yeah, I agree. For all of our, our moon staging invasions. <laughs> Anytime the Capellans decide to invade. Get pissed at the fence on us. <laughs> we'll use this map. Um, yeah, cool. This is a, this is, this one yeah. is very We've been, We were looking for one of these for a while. Not many map makers have a really good one of these Ashwood or Moon, uh, textures. So really nice job here, Deep Cut. Uh, yeah, agreed. agreed. And this one is Asteroid V2. So this is their second iteration of the map. I, I'm not 100% sure what the difference is between V1 and V2, uh, but this one is, is highly detailed. Take the opportunity. So it's also, right, the mouse pad material. So right. it's awesome because it will grip the table you're on and not move around, but also be soft enough, like if you're dropping miniatures or rolling dice, it's just a nice, ah, just a nice soft cushiony landing. Sounds glorious. This one is probably one of my other personal favorites. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I always I love mean, they're a all good. My they're all they're all just so sweet. A good snowy slash grasslandy terrain. Um, and this one is a, actually an Infinity War version of their Northland map. Um, Ariadna, I think is how we're going to pronounce it. We don't really know. But we don't, we don't really play Infinity. Infinity game, but yeah. it works great for this. And this is the neat feature. So, right, with this one, there's these little exposed pieces of, what, I don't know, an underground facility, some Star League relic, maybe. I yeah. don't know, but it, it adds a nice Hoding touch. secret hideout. Hoding <laughs> secret underground lair. Yeah, I like it. It's got sort of this ridge line, which, you know, maybe is a road, who knows, kind of cuts to the metal. Can make it like a riverbed, but then it's also got the touches of snow, so it adds like a nice depth if you want to do multiple terrain types, yeah. features, you know. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah, this is a pretty sweet map, no doubt about it. All right, what else do we have there? Ooh. Desert planet. Great reveal. I love this one. I was excited to get this one into our collection. It seems boring at a, at a high glance, but then once you get close up, you realize you really start to see like ridge lines, the dunes and the, the windswept sort of cuts in the sand. Really cool. And who doesn't want to do something on an all desert planet? I mean, some of my favorite MechWarrior 2 missions were on right. the desert. I mean, just phenomenal. I'm pretty sure that one of the very first ones where you have to go to 35 different nav points was in like a desert like Mesa area. Always reminds me of that. Uh, reminds me of like Dust Bowl from Mech Warrior 4. Right. You know, just nothing but sand. And, and like you said, really good detail. And one thing we haven't done yet, which I think we really need to incorporate in our next one, is an elevated heat, right? Temperature. Uh, so some, good. Some poor conditions for yeah. the next to run hot. Maybe a little sandstorm. So, yeah. We should I get like on it. that. We should get on that for sure. We'll just cover it with sand and blow it in each other's faces. <laughs> All right, what else do we have mm, on the opposite end of the spectrum? Right, complete glacier ice. Yeah, and there or are snow rather. We have a couple right. different snow maps. Um, this one is really cool because it's got 
almost an icy bluish tinge to it. So it's very you know, glacier like. You know, very glacier like, polar. yeah. Like that Hoth style. Hopefully I didn't have any, any copyright infringement by saying that out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's like that really icy and you know, again, um, could even be sort of like a polar moon, right? You see these pock marks that almost uh, are akin to craters, right? So some pretty neat details in this one. I always love a good snow map. So what else did we get from Deep Cut? They actually sent us a little extra stuff here. Uh, so thank you to our friends over at Deep Cut Studio our for supporting the channel. Branded dice trays. Check that out. Ooh. So these are nice. They, they unbuckle for storage, but just basically same mouse pad material, Buck, yep. buckle up the quarters and corners and you got yourself a tray. Yeah, nice portable dice tray. Uh, you know, makes it nice and quiet when you roll the dice. Of course, branded with our DFA logo. All right. If you guys are interested in getting one, let us know. Uh, we have limited supplies, but can always probably go back for more, you know? Uh, so that's that, guys. That's our review on these four mats from Deep Cut. Um, what do you think, Kev? Would you buy from De from from Deep Cut <laughs> Studios? I think in we're going to be purchasing half the catalog. I, I agree, yeah. Now, you actually have a couple more. Yeah, we didn't show them off today, so yeah. we also have Shoreline. Right. And we have... It's a medieval ruin, ruins, I believe. Yeah, yeah, which has more of like a rocky sort of... Maybe a Solaris. Barren Earth type look to it, which style. is why we chose it. Yeah, very cool. Um, I mean, everything from, from these guys has been very high quality, so I agree with you. We'll definitely be picking up some more. But guys, that's it. Um, so hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any specific questions about these mats, let us know. Uh, we will post a link to Deep Cut Studio in the description. Uh, and also, uh, it is for your reference, www.deepcutstudioalloneword.com. So thanks for watching. And we'll catch you next time. Subscribe to the channel. Oh, yeah, that's important. Definitely subscribe. <laughs>